hello everyone today in this video i am going to create this family of carpet but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start this is the 2d image of the carpet which i have downloaded from the internet and i am going to use this image to create the material of the carpet so now open new family template file of generic model you can also use the generic model floor base but for now i am going to use the generic model here i am going to place some reference planes according to the dimensions of the carpet make them equal okay but I don't know what would be the dimensions of the carpet so for that I'm going to open the uh, residential project file at which I have to place the carpet so here I'm going to insert the image of the carpet which I have previously shown you guys import that in this project in this project file place it at its position and then uh, adjust its scale now this is going to be the size of the carpet using the model line I'm going to make sure what would be the dimension so this is basically 6 feet 3 inches by 4 feet 8 inches so go back to the generic model family and adjust these reference planes with a length of 6 feet 3 inches and a width of 4 feet 8 inches after you have done that select extrusion from the create tab and draw a rectangle of the same dimensions give it an extrusion end of 3 by 8 inches depicting the thickness of the carpet now select void sweep sketch path draw the rectangle like this click ok then go to left elevation and draw the profile like this basically i'm just going to draw the edge of the carpet you can draw according to your design now select extrusion and give it the material parameter of carpet then open this parameter dialog box open the material browser click on create new material uh, provide it and any name I'm going to name it custom carpet then go to appearance tab and in here imp uh, import that same image which I have shown you previously set the glossiness at zero because the carpet does not have any gloss in it and it is a non metallic material then open this dialog box by clicking on the image and set the scale of the same dimensions as of the carpet which is 6 feet 3 inches by 4 feet 8 inches after you have done that go to the position and set the offset 0 feet 0 inches means that it is at the center of the carpet so you have to enter the uh, position offset at the half of the dimensions of the x and y axis as 6 feet 3 inches divided by 2 is 3 feet 1.5 inches and 4 feet 8 inches is 2 feet 4 inches so make sure to add that value otherwise the material would not be set correctly now i have to add the bump for that open photoshop open the image of the carpet and then go to adjustment and make it a black and white image if it is some any other sort of material like brick or stone 
I would also have adjust the level of the shadows created in it but for this carpet I'm just I'm going to skip that part I'm going to just make it a simple black and white image save that JPEG image and import it in this bump in other words you can also say bump is basically the roughness of the material with by this you can also change the amount of the roughness either dragging this bar or uh, uh, changing the value in here let's say at the value of 500 now click ok when you change the settings to realistic you would know that bump has not been placed correctly this is because i have not adjusted the settings of the bump image so for that click on this image open this dialog box and enter the same values in the scale and the position as i have placed in the image in that colored image previously and now you can see that how the image has been created so now load it into the project file and place it at its position with the help of dimension tool place it at the center Now I am going to set the camera as shown and then I am going to uh, create a render out of it just to show you guys how it is going to appear in the render. So our carpet carpet has been created and placed in the project file and it looks like this in a rough render. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.